Hey ladies, um, so I wanted to share something special with you. My husband got me a present um, from Brighton Collectibles for Valentine's Day and I already know what it is. And I started opening the box and then I saw how cutely it was packaged and so I just had to share it with you guys. So um, I decided to just stop and open it with you all. Cause, and I'm sorry if you can hear exploding bombs or car noises and brakes and stuff, but <laughs> they're uh, playing the video game out there so yeah that's what that is but here's the box it's one of those like flip top box and I thought this was so pretty it's like a heart made out of roses this is Brighton and then this is also what I thought was cute the little pull tab is a heart so there is everything all packaged let me take it out This is basically what it looks like when it's out of the box. I like the tissue paper and stuff. <sighs> um, so basically it's a funny little note that says, Dear Ashley, have you heard of a new condition called handbag decision paralysis? <laughs> HDP. This is a type of commitment phobia where you can't decide which bag is right for you. I have the opposite problem. I think that every Brighton bag is perfect for me. And then it just goes on and on and on. But it's like, <laughs> at first I was like, what? But that's that, you know, little card thing. So let's get into the actual present. I'm gonna... Oh. Okay. This is a big box for such a small package. Okay. So, here's the first one. Um, this is what I guess the front looks like. It's like the Brighton logo inside a heart. Um, Brighton on the back. And then... Me. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> I'm trying to like pull it open and it's like a push out one. Or something. Um. Here. Oh, okay. I'm like, I was like, what the heck? Because I couldn't see my um thing, but their box came unglued. That's kind of disappointing. Like, so the it's supposed to, it was supposed to be up like that, but whatever. I'll glue it later. The one thing I think is kind of silly is that they leave the retail value in there next to it, but here is what I got. Um, and let me say the site is very misleading and um, because this is so small, like tiny, like super duper tiny, um, and it looked much bigger on the site. But I still really like it. This is a Star of David necklace. Um, with little diamonds in it and then this chain that it has is like it's got little beads and whatnot on it like um but I got this because I have the Star of David that you guys see me wear in my videos like all the time um and I just wanted one that would be a little dressier for you know more dressed up occasions but um I have to say I love what I got, but I'm very disappointed with their customer service. I mean, the box is broken, there's that stupid try to get you to buy more stuff note attached to my <laughs> gift, and then the chain is like, I wanted to show you guys how long it is, but it's like horribly tangled. So, let me see. I'm, I'm trying to get this undone because I would like to see how long it is in person too which there I got it untangled but it's again this is also much shorter than I thought it would be although it does have a very long extension and one thing I want to show you guys is the little lobster class has like a heart shape if you guys can see that but this is what it looks like this is the length on its longest setting which is probably always what I would wear it on but and then there's a little heart at the end with the Brighton collectible symbol on it, if you guys can see that. 
So there's that one. And then this is a little bigger, which is good. Um, I got a charm, which I figured I could switch out on, you know, either of my chains. But it is this little Star of David charm, charm bracelet, like for a necklace. And it has the little diamond in the center there and that, like with a flower in the middle, which I thought was really cute. I'm actually thinking of getting something like this done in a tattoo, so I don't know. But these are my lovely presents from my hubby. So now that you guys have seen them, I'm going to go say thank you. <laughs> well, once he finishes his game anyways. But uh, <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody.